All right, um, fam. <clears throat> Welcome to my channel. So, um, in this um, video, I'll walk you through how you can um, configure um, FortiGate to authenticate um, with the radio server so that your users on, on your Forti APs can be able to um, utilize that. So, uh, apparently, um, users will be able to um, authenticate with their username and password instead of this um, traditional uh, preset key. So I um, have my FortiGate um, here installed. I have um, the uh, my Windows Server um, 2016, and on it is configured the network uh, policy um, server. So the first thing I want to do is to um, configure um, the network policy um, server. Come here and you click on the um, network policy server. If this has not been installed on your Windows server, you can install it in um, um, goals and feature, add goals and feature. So um, yeah, network policy server, okay. Um, then the first thing is we want to register um, our 40 gigs. So go to a radius um, client, then um edit is click new enter a friendly name which is um 40 gates um then um the ip address should be the ip address of your uh 40 gates the local um uh, local land the gateway for your users end users which is 192 so my is 192.10.1 one. can verify yeah okay so now we've registered it on our FortiGate, uh, on our um, network policy server. So what we want to do is to go to FortiGate and um, and and um, just register the uh, radio server also on FortiGate side of it. Then you come to users, um, radio server. Okay, um, I've already started this uh, yeah. So, um, which um, the name of this of the radio server you can give it any name as um, let's say radio server. Radio server. Um, all this don't don't really matter. Then the IP address of the server is this. Then okay, um, let's go back here. So we need to do something here. So on this policy connection uh, request policy um you come to connection request policy right click then select new give it a name wireless um click next um add this to it let's select um um the client's um ip address which is uh, yeah Let's select uh, client IP4 IP address, which is the IP address of the Wizard client. That's um, 40 gigs, 192.168.10.1. Okay. Then let's add, um, let's add, um, okay, select, okay. Uh, select next. Authentication. Um, let's select next. Use this. And we are selecting the EAP as um, as Microsoft protected EAP. That's PIP. Uh, we we'll click the. We we'll ensure this are uh, uh, checked. Um, next. Then next. Then um, you finish. So yeah, we want to um, go back here to the videos um, clients that we first configured. Uh, we need to give this a preset key that's um that is going to be identical between the radio server and the 40 gate um um client then we have it as just give it any um uh, secret key that you can um easily remember then tiger um, apply then okay so uh, we don't we are done with the radius clients then the connection request policy um we have this let's move it up the one we initially connected so we are done with this 
aspect. Then the other one is the network policy that we need to set, click new, then give it a friendly name, Wi-Fi. Next, um, let's add a condition. So we are selecting a uh, Windows group. Windows group means that as soon as um, our users log in to the domain, they can be able to use their username and uh, password to authenticate. Let's add this. Let's add the group. So we have I've already created the group or in the um, in the um, Active Directory domains um, and 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 um, actually directory users and computers. So I have um, a group um, called um, Wi-Fi that I've already configured here. I've already uh, configured it to Wi-Fi and I added um, users to it. So this is the group I'm going to use at uh, the MPS um, level. So I'm adding this here, which is Wi-Fi. Check names. Uh, okay. Okay. Um, I also want to add one more, which is the user groups, um, user group, which means that if anybody is not on the domain, but I want to add their, their users and not that they can probably use the username and password and also add the domains uh, to hit, which I'm going to show you here. So add, add group, select the same group that was uh, selected earlier. Oh no, back. Okay, yes. Okay. So we have this selected, click next, access granted, um, click next. We want to select um, the, the EAP as the uh, Microsoft protected uh, EAP PIP. Then have all of this also um, unchecked. I just want the Microsoft encrypted uh, authentication version two um, only. Then next, um, also click next. Uh, on that vendor specific, um, I would like to also add a vendor specific uh, Wi-Fi. Like I'm creating, I'm creating the same group that I used here on on FortiGate, but I want to select it as a vendor specific. So I add it here. I add the value, I attribute value as Wi-Fi. I'm still going to show you there. Okay. Okay. Uh, next. Okay. Close next then finish so on the part of um this um radio server uh setting the top for 40 gates i'm quite done with that so i'm going straight to 40 gates so here we left here so that we can also configure our our shared secrets on the mps so the shared secret that we implemented on mps we are going to uh, type it here also which is um um yeah Okay, you see, we have to test uh, connectivity and we have that it is successful. Then um, click OK. So the next thing we want to do is to create our um, SSID. So you come to SSID, then um, create new SSID, then call it um, anything good, call it um, radius, radius um, SSID. So I'm, I'm leaving this as a tunnel mode because I want this to have its own IP address and also serve as the DSP server to the um, connecting um, clients. So I'm putting 192.168.221.1 slash 24. Okay. Um, act as DSP, yes. So when anybody's connecting, this gives it um, the IP, um, IP address and all that. So here, the SSID that you want to distribute is um, radius SSID. Okay. Then you want to choose um, enterprise, um, WAP2 enterprise. Then you have to select the radio server. And the radio server is what you just, you uh, that was configured there at the users and device. Then, okay. So I think at this level, I'm done Yeah. So click OK. So the next thing you want to do is to add this SSID to your AP. You know, for instance, you might have more than one AP in your environment. 
And because you configure the exercise, doesn't mean they will automatically be added there. So what you do is that you want to add them to the AP. So I have like um, four um, access points. So I want to add this to each of the access points that I, I have in my environment. So I'm adding this to, to, uh, to sales. So this sales one that's already been, already been configured. Then um, if you check here, we have two exercises that have been added already. So I had my own also, the one I'm configuring now to hit. So which is radius um, society, then click OK. I also want to add it to the other um, other three um, 40 AP in my environment. OK. Then add it to this one as, as well. Um, click OK. Then the next thing you want to do after all this is to create um, create a user group um, here. So here I'm creating a user group um, at user group, um, create user group, um, create new. So name it um, Wi-Fi. Then um, add, in this remote group, add your uh, radio server, which is this. Then uh, leave the group as any. Okay. So you click OK. So um, sorry, at this level of creating your SSID, you have to add the group there. Um, yeah, just go back. SSID, um, radius server, where are you? Uh, this, no, this, uh, radius server, no. No, this is it, radius server. Then yeah, under authentication here, yeah, we have radio server. Um, okay, 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 nothing yet. So this this is fine. This is fine. Okay. So go to um, policy and objects. Uh, under policy, create a new policy for your um, radio server. Then name name it uh, Wi-Fi radios. Mm -hmm. The incoming interface will be the interface of um, the one you just created, which is um, which is this. Um, so this becomes the, the tunnel SSID automatically becomes an interface on your 40 gig because it's a tunnel and is um, is a network on its own, so it's not bridged to the network. So you select this tunnel, then outgoing interface is your um, is your one interface the ISP. Then source, you can select all. Destination, select all. Then um, services, um, select all. So under this source as well, you have to select the group you just created, which is um, Wi-Fi. This Wi-Fi group you just created, uh, you have to select it because it has to be the source for all your um, clients, uh, all your users that are connecting via this. So every other thing is um, set. Just select OK. So I want to drag this from the bottom to the top so that um, it will take uh, precedence over every other um, firewall policy that I have. So the next thing for me to do is to um, is to connect to my Wi-Fi. So under my Wi-Fi, I have this um, radio server, a uh, radio SSID that was configured is now um, visible in my environment, then connect. So what you want to do is that, yeah, you want to add your domain and your username. So which is um, Tiger, sorry. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm having an issue connecting. Let me say where is that? I'm having an issue. So has to be on the NPS level. So yes, okay, sorry, let me move this to the top. Um, work. Work. Let me check again, let me verify that I have, I have everything connected here. Everything is set. Okay. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah, it works. So now I have this, I have to um, type in my username and password. Um, this, this works. So I can, as you can see, I'm connected to the Radius SSID. So for me to continue browsing, I have to enter the um, username and password um, of my, um, that's, that's in the Radius again. Yeah, so yeah, I don't need to include the Tiger Logic, um, uh, the domain. I just have to, I can just go ahead and just um, type in the username and the password and and um, I'm good. So you can see, I can browse with this and check my mails, Gmail. Thank you.